like a bone. And I will break you. What is up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking the Josh Trank directed movie, Capone, starring Tom Hardy. I need you in the comments down below. Were you excited for this film? Let's get right into it. So, Al Capone was the most infamous and feared gangster of American lore. At the age of 47, following nearly a decade of imprisonment, dementia rots his mind and his past becomes his present as harrowing memories of his violent and brutal origins melt into his waking life. So I was excited for this for a multitude of reasons. Obviously, Tom Hardy playing Al Capone. Come on. I mean, we love Tom Hardy. We know he's capable of great things and grand things. Josh Trank, on the other hand, while I think he's capable of a lot as a filmmaker, it all comes down to what kind of material is he dealing with? Is it something like a Chronicle, which I thought he crushed? Or is it something like a Fantastic Fantastic Four, which uh, a lot of people look at him even today and say, well, this guy can't direct anything because of that one movie. And hey, I get it. It's a bad movie, but... I was pumped to see his return to the big slash small screen, and I was excited for him to get another opportunity, not just an opportunity, but one with Tom Hardy and Linda Cardellini and a pretty incredible cast of character actors. And here's what I'll say. Trank's direction as a whole wasn't what I wanted it to be, uh, but there were a few elements in here that I look at and say, yes, there are a multitude of reasons why this guy should be behind the camera, uh, a number of camera tricks that worked here, and I do think it shot very well. Now, could the color have been a bit more, I don't want to use the word vibrant, because that's not the tone they're going for here, but I did think it was a little dark in parts, and obviously we're dealing with dark elements when it comes to the narrative, but visually... I didn't find a ton there to grab hold of, but still enough to where I can say Trank can be a really good director. My issue with this movie is less the direction and more the writing. No, not the overall idea, because I like exploring this aspect of his life. The notorious gangster. The guy that we've heard about our entire lives. And you have one of the best, in my opinion, uh, one of the best actors in the business. But it's also an actor that some look at understandably so, and say, hey, just kind of mumbles. If you don't like Tom Hardy's mumbles, I don't know if you're going to like Tom Hardy in this film. I've already been seeing some reviews that are scathing overall, uh, but they're also talking about Hardy's performance in this movie and, and how it was bad. Like, I'm seeing the word Razzie's thrown around. I'm just like, this is not John Travolta in Gotti. No, uh, Tom Hardy is clearly better in this film, and I do think for what he had to work with, he did a reasonable job. Now, is this my favorite performance of his? No, was the voice a bit much at the beginning? I'm like, that's interesting. He's mumbling, but uh, it's a different sounding Tom Hardy, so that I had to get used to. But I, I have to um, respectfully disagree with the fact that many people are saying it is horrible. It may be on his lower end of performances, but you have to look at what the guy has done. He's nonstop greatness. He's also playing a guy that's clearly been through the ringer. I mean, this is not, <laughs> this is not a pleasant viewing experience. And I think that's my problem with the film is, sure, it's supposed to be a look into this time of his life and how life and his history and his past has got him to this point, and we see him reliving this on screen. But what we also see is a man in this miserable stage of his life. It's a grotesque film. It's basically two hours of this man's self-destruction, and I understand the person that we're dealing with, there aren't many redeeming factors, but something, a bit of empathy, a bit of sympathy, Something needed to be there to allow us to care a bit more about what was going on and make this bleak and repetitive story seem a bit more interesting than it actually was. And I know it's interesting. Like I said, I love the concept of this movie. And I'm sure the idea at the time was great. Uh, but Josh Trank also wrote this film. And that's where I take issue is the overall script, some of the conversations that don't mean anything by the end of the film, and the way the film ends, it's, it's underwhelming, and I'm sure some people will say, well, Austin, it was meant to be a dark and disturbing look into this man's life, and in that, I see it becoming, maybe not a cult classic, but I see this film finding its audience for sure. Um, I was honestly just expecting something more interesting, and I hate being like that in a review. To be frank with you guys, I almost didn't put this video out because I hate this type of negativity. I have to do it sometimes, especially towards a movie that I was this excited for, one that had so much potential, 
And in the midst of watching this film, I'm sitting back going, I'm not getting any kind of emotion towards this situation. I'm just feeling bleak and empty. And if that's what you believe the film should make you feel and you're feeling that, then your thoughts on it at the end of the day are going to be a bit different than mine. But I see Capone as a big missed opportunity. Because this man obviously has a huge ego. His past is one of the more sinful pasts that we have seen in a long time. And within that, he's kind of crumbling under the weight of what he's continuing to remember and see play out in real time. We get to experience that with him. But because of that, I'm sitting back thinking, why do I want to see this man get tortured in general? He's using the bathroom on himself. He's toppling over. He's doing things that he's not really aware of. He's basically completely out of his mind. And that's the entire film. And I understand if you're fascinated with this character, and it could be realistic, I'm not 100% sure, uh, then you're going to enjoy this type of movie. But I didn't get that much out of it. Maybe any kind of light at the end of the tunnel, aka this movie, uh, that would have redeemed it just a tad bit. Something there that would have made me feel a bit more positive towards an element of this movie, but it was non-stop exactly what I just told you. And you combine that with the fact that the movie does drag and the pacing wasn't all there for me and I continued to lose interest as it was going, that's a recipe for a disaster in my book. Now, I don't think this was a disaster because I do still see that there. I'm rooting for Trank. I want this guy to persevere, so I'm going to continue to hold out, but Capone just wasn't that film for me, unfortunately. So be sure to leave your thoughts down below. If you disagree with me, that is absolutely okay. I appreciate you guys for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. I am going a 44% for Capone. I'm rounding it down to that score because I, I just feel as if there was something major missing, and the pacing wasn't all there for me. Uh, so I was disappointed but I'm still rooting for everyone involved. I mean, Hardy, Cardellini, they're going to be okay. Uh, but I want Josh Trank to do more behind the camera. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'll, uh, I'll see you later.